Good afternoon, Denton ISD families, students, faculty, and staff. Um, I come to you this afternoon just with an update of after our first week of missing our classes and looking at the new norm for what school looks like for the next couple of weeks. Um, as you well know, there's lots of health and well-being emphasis all across our country, and especially in Denton ISD. We really want to make sure that all of our families and our students are taking care of themselves and that we're reaching out to you uh, to provide you as much assistance as possible. So first of all, let's talk about um, what should have happened for us this week. You should have received communication from one or more of your child's teachers. Some schools are really designating that to one or two teachers, depending upon teams. If you're at the elementary level, it's probably just one teacher at the secondary level. If you receive too many emails, I truly apologize. We're just doing everything we can to try to communicate with you everything that's going on within the school system. Um, learning moving forward. We want you to know that we're really trying to enrich the curriculum of our students and to provide them an opportunity to master things they may have already learned. And so each individual classroom and each individual teacher by grade level at each individual school will be contacting you and reaching out. And it may be by Google Classroom or it may be by Seesaw or it may be in other ways so that we are providing enrichment to our students and our kids are being able to learn what they need to learn. For our students that are preparing for AP exams or IB exams, it's a great opportunity for you to study and, and learn new things and, and get ready for those assessments because as we end this here in the coming weeks, those assessments will go on. They'll probably be rescheduled to different times, but you're still going to have an opportunity to take them and you want to be as prepared as possible. So use this time to really hone in on those skills and, and work on that. In addition to that, um, I think it's important that we talk about our number one goal in the school district. Um, as we talk about the health and safety and well-being of our students, and you heard from Ms. Lawrence earlier this week about doing things to really emotionally support our students and to support you, um, graduation is an important time for all of our families. You all need to know that regardless of how long we're out of school, we're going to do everything humanly possible to have graduation exercises, to allow our students to move on to college and to their next level of of education, whatever that might be. If your students are at the ATC and they're working on certification exams, those certification exams will be there once we get through this pandemic. Um, just know that we're gonna be here for you, we're gonna support you, and we're gonna do everything humanly possible to make these last, these last weeks for our seniors as meaningful as possible, including trying to have graduation, depending upon what that might be like, I'm really not sure right now. But I'm telling you, you have my commitment that we're gonna do something to make those things happen. When it comes to the other exams that we're taking at the graduate level at our, with our seniors, those will be there waiting for you. Um, just know that you need to take care of yourself, do what you can do. Our faculty, our staff, our teachers, our principals are doing just that each and every day. So thank you for your patience. Thank you for your flexibility. And please look for our updates as we send those um, as often as we can, um, including a daily video from some division within our, our school district. And in fact, you'll probably see the yellow buses rolling as the buses of hope um, that go into our neighborhoods, either delivering supplies, materials, or food. Um, and know that we're here, we're in this with you, um, and we want to be your partner. And we always have been your partner. We want to continue to be your partner. So thank you. Have a great day.